Greetings family, welcome and I trust this video finds you well by the special grace of the living God, wonderful people of the Most High God. Today I'm going to share with you about praying between um, midnight and 3 a.m. and the actual significance that comes with that. And that this is going to amaze you, this is going to shock you to see what really happens in that timing of the midnight 12 a.m and 3 a.m and as you connect to this i know you will be blessed and your life will be changed forever by the special grace of the living god people of god you are here your life has been at the same point you need god to do something new in your life you need god to change your level in life you need god to fight your battles i want you to understand this that the midnight is a time of transition from one one day to another if you decide to wake up exactly at 12 a.m and begin to pray spiritually you connect to divine transition con concerning your life the god almighty will transition your life as you pray in this midnight are you trusting God for financial freedom? Are you trusting God for healing? You are able to move from sickness to healing. In this hour, you are able to move from scarcity to financial abundance. You are able to move from being weak in the spirit to move on being powerful in the spirit. And people of God, I want you to know that in this hour, there are so many activities that are going on that are good and evil. Destinies are shaped in this hour. I want you to know that also destinies are interrupted in this hour. The witches, people that are fighting your life, people that are cursing your life, are expecting you to be so much deeper asleep, are expecting to be able to utter words of curse, utter words that will block your life, utter words that will make you not to be able to be where God has destined you to be because they think you are asleep. But if you wake up in this hour and begin to pray, as they are trying to interrupt your destiny, you then also pray and you are able to shape your destiny. If you are not shaping your destiny in the midnight, then somebody might interrupt it. There are so many fights, witchcraft attacks that we are dealing with, but this is a weapon to wake up in the midnight and begin to pray and begin to call upon God as we have transitioned from the night into the morning. There, as we have transitioned from darkness in, into light, from being in the previous day and entering into a new day, as you pray, something new breaks out in your life and something new comes forth as you pray in the midnight. I want you to understand, family, that at a natural level, great victories have been won when nations were caught by surprise as their armies were, as were asleep. At midnight, Satan launches attacks in the midnight. He does not do it during the day much because he knows people are alert. But he knows at night people are asleep. He comes and he feeds people things. He comes and he plants diseases. He comes and he wastes your life. But when you are awake, you are able to even, you know, uh, stop what the devil has been trying to do. It will not even happen because the dream that the devil was trying to give you to bring sickness in your body. Some people have dreamt they were eating in their dreams. Meanwhile, they were given sickness while they were trying to draw a witchcraft attack in your sleep. They find that you are doing what? You are awake. While they're trying to draw different calamities into your home, they find that you are what? You are awake. And I want you to know that great calamities are spiritually affected at midnight. God Almighty himself waited till midnight to execute judgment on Egypt. 
And I'm going to read the scripture from Exodus chapter 11 from verse 4 to 6. This is where we find this word. The Bible says, then Moses says, thus says the Lord about midnight, I will go out into the midst of Egypt and all the firstborn in the land of Egypt shall die from the, from the firstborn of Pharaoh who sits on the throne, even to the firstborn of the female servant who is behind the hand mill and all the firstborn of the animals. Why didn't God execute this judgment at any other time of the day but at midnight? Because there is something about the midnight. Are you dealing with somebody? Are you dealing with a force of witchcraft? Are you dealing with wickedness? Are you dealing with powers that are fighting your life? Are you dealing with powers that want you to die prematurely? Are you dealing with powers that are stealing your joy? you can decide to wake up at midnight and execute judgment. Command those powers one by one to be rendered powerless against your life. Midnight is a time where people of God are vulnerable to attacks because as they sleep, some of them, even spiritually, they sleep. It is an hour where enemies lay siege and they render people defenseless. Many people, when they are asleep, so deep in sleep, so deep in sleep, you are defenseless. You cannot fight for yourself. And child of God, I am here to give you this word. This might surprise you. This might shock you. But I want you to know that as you wake up in the midnight and you make it a decision, is there a situation you are dealing with? You give yourself 14 days. Number seven is a number of perfection. Number 14 is double perfection. And you declare these 14 days, I'm going to be up in the midnight. The scriptures that I've just read, you are going to go over them and read them. And you are going to command that enemy to live your life, live your family, live your business, live your finances, live your children. You will realize that in the midnight, there's a special angel that will be released for you as you lift up prayer. It is also your time to launch a deadly surprise attack to the enemy. The enemy will be surprised to see the attack that you will launch to their camp. The enemy will be surprised to say they think you are sleeping. They think they can be feed, feeding you stroke. They can be feeding you cancer. Hear me. They can be feeding you diabetes in the night. They can be feed, feeding you high blood pressure. They can be sowing all sorts of tears. But you are awake and you begin to pray in the spirit. You begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. You therefore see all the attack of the enemy going back to where it's coming from. You can do it. It is about time you rise up, child of God. It is about time you take authority. It is about time as a Christian to break open those closed doors. As you pray in the midnight, the devil had said you will not be promoted. The devil had said you will not laugh. The devil had said you will not go to your next level. But as you pray in the midnight, hear me, you will break open because you've got a spiritual key. The midnight Midnight prayer is a spiritual key that opens doors for you, that causes you to access different places spiritually. You can enter your job spiritually. Are you looking for a job? Are you looking for promotion? Are you looking for joy? You can enter into that door spiritually even before you access it physically. Judges chapter 16 verse 3. The Bible says, Samson lay low till midnight. Then he arose at midnight, took hold of the doors of the gate of the city, and the two gateposts pulled them up, bar and all, put them on his shoulders, and carried them on top of the hill that faces Hebron. Why did, why did Samson have to wait until midnight? Because midnight is a power hour. 
Midnight is a, is a time where things change in your life. Whatever you are trusting God for in this time of transition can be given to you. Mysterious things happen the most at midnight, not during the day. Have you lost anything very dear to you? Mysterious circumstances happen in the midnight. And you being awake and fully alert in the midnight hour, you are able to possess the gates of the enemy and take back what is yours. People of the Most High God, I brought this word to you today. And by the Spirit of God, there is a transition coming. There is a shift coming. Your life will never remain the same. I challenge you, take that step. Give yourself these days committed. Let the Spirit of God guide you. Maybe the Spirit of God will give you a different number of days, not necessarily 14. But let the Spirit of God guide you. Be able to wake up and begin to pray in the Spirit. Begin to open scripture. If you don't know where to read, look into my videos. Get any video, even where I deal with the symptoms of witchcraft attack or where I deal with open doors. There are so many videos. You get hold of it and you begin to pray. You begin to fire prayer. You will see God intervene mightily in your life. You will see great change come through in your life. You will see a great turnaround come into your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Wonderful people of God, I trust you have been blessed by this word. What is coming your way after you engage what I've just spoken about will shock you. The person, the sorcerer, the witch, wickedness that has been pursuing your life where they thought they've got you. They're about to be surprised because you will be so slippery in their hand. They will try to hold you. They will not find you. They will try to search you. They will try to bewitch. They will not know how you have escaped. May God bless you as you connect to this word. May God bless you. Thank you everyone for connecting. I believe this word has brought enlightenment to somebody. And as you engage this word, I know your life can never remain the same. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Are you here? You've been blessed by this word. Make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you leave your comment down below. I will personally respond to you. Make sure you subscribe. If you believe this word can bless somebody, make sure you share it with them. And as you do so, God will bless you. Thank you everyone for tuning in. May God bless you all. I love you and see you in my next video. Shalom.